All right, so this is our second poem that I would like you to um, think about the theme. Um, this is a shorter poem, so um, it'll be a little easier for you to read and kind of understand. Um, again, we're talking about theme, the big idea, things that keep coming up in the poem, and, you know, thoughts and feelings that you have about it. So this, call, this poem is called Hope is the Thing with Feathers by by Emily Dickinson. Okay, so as I'm reading, um, again, you can reread it. It's a good strategy if you're stuck. Um, and as I'm reading, think about what ideas do you think about? What things come to your mind? What's the big ideas that you come out of this? The lesson? Um, things like that. All right, here we go. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words, and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard, and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. So thinking about this poem, I'll read it again, um, but I want you to think about what is this author talking about in this whole entire poem? What are they referring to as it? What are they, you know, talking about, you know, it? They're talking about this it. What is it? Is it a person? Is it a thing? Is it a thought, an idea? Um, think about what they're talking about, and then hopefully that'll get you to understand the theme a little bit more. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. So think about what they're talking about in this first stanza and kind of take that and then it's going to help you move along with understanding the rest. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. So thinking about kind of what this is, what this means, Think about what it means to you and think about how you felt and, you know, maybe pick a line, some evidence that helps you understand that. And um, when we come back to class, um, I think this is the poem that we're going to be looking into a little bit more. I'm curious to see your thoughts. Um, this is a tricky one, but um, a good central message.